Hey there, Lucas here at Old Haunt Recording Studio, and one of the first things we're going to look at in the making of our new album, Restless Dreams, is how we handled the MIDI. The thing with MIDI is that it is very flexible. You have full control over velocity, the length of the note you're hitting, you could even totally change the performance on the fly, which is amazing, especially if you're not the greatest keyboard player like me. Contact has always done amazing stuff. Um, some people are also very familiar with their guitar rig software, which I've actually utilized uh, a lot in the past, mostly for writing demos, but occasionally for some effects for some lead guitar stuff. For this song, what I wanted to do was play on the melodies that were in I Got a Letter and kind of make them a bit more raunchy, digitize them, if you will. So what I figured out was what the clean guitar is doing, and I transposed it over to a Mellotron. Now, a Mellotron is an old synth that was used to kind of replicate other instruments. It has a very distinct sound, and I thought it kind of had the right vibe. Contact actually has a pretty great set of stock sounds, and all of the virtual instruments you can actually tweak and modify to your heart's content. And it's actually a little overwhelming with a lot that you can do because you can start adding effects and EQ and, and whatnot, but it's, it's stock stuff is actually quite powerful. Here's what the Mellotron guitar sounds like. Still using the Mellotron patch, I decided to create the bass line. Now again, I went back into what we had done in I Got A Letter and figured that out on this wacky Mellotron patch. Now I tried to use a sub bass because I wanted to get a really low bass sound and I then put it through just a generic Pro Tools distortion plugin. It kind of adds like a lo-fi sound. I played around with a few of them, and to be honest, a lot of them actually sounded pretty similar. So that in conjunction with this patch from Contact actually created a really neat, grainy, distorted sound, which works beautifully within the composition of the song. I'm a huge fan of string patches, and while the stock contact ones aren't that bad, I really was looking for something that had a little bit more of an 80s vibe to it, something that was synthetic yet could still do warm natural tones. There's a company called Frozen Plane, which I've actually used some of their impulse responses to create more ambient soundscapes, and they have a bunch of contact plugins. I believe I also have a free music box one, which you can download just by signing up on the website. But this is probably one of my favorite string patches. I kind of played around with a preset that was a degraded sound. And if you look here, there's a whole rack mount setting, which has just tons of effects. It's definitely a bit more intuitive than the contact effects. And it's actually a lot of fun to use. I highly recommend looking into these guys. The last patch that I used was by Impact Soundworks, and I used their cinematic synthetic drums. I'm a big fan of percussive sounds, and I try to write a lot of my keyboard parts almost as if I'm writing like a movie trailer. You know, all those really big impact effects that I guess Hans Zimmer is known for. And this is actually a free plugin, I might add. 
The last thing I did was I just got the opening guitar riff to I Got a Letter and I let it fade in because the idea with this song was to let it transition right into I Got a Letter. This is what that sounds like. That's everything I've got to say about Contact. Please hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop whenever we've got a new video. Hit the notification bell so that way you know when it drops. This is Lucas signing off.